Well, um, I decided since my other first dip video was really bad that I was going to go ahead and make another one. So here I'm making another one, um, dipping the same thing, Cold Whiskey Blend. Uh, still got my good old mud jug. Um, so yeah, uh, you couldn't hear in my other video, I doubt, but, um, you know, I've been dipping for a while, um, I noticed like a, like a shit ton of people are making videos, you know, and, uh, so I figured, you know, why not, why not give them my shot at it, I know, I, uh, some of y'all might have seen me sticking redneck dipping room, yeah, I'll, um, but yeah, I decided today that I was going to make a video, and, and, uh, I said it in my last video, I don't know, I really highly doubt you could hear it, but, uh, a lot of people ask me why I dip Cope Whiskey Blend, and the answer really is pretty simple, even though it's kind of hard to find around here, where I live at, um, I know a couple stores that always have it, but, uh, my reasons are, you know, I mean, I've dipped almost everything from Grizzly Wintergreen, Cope Wintergreen, Skull Wintergreen, Straight, uh, Skull, Grizzly, <laughs> Cope, uh, I've dipped it almost all, you know. I chewed Red Man for a while, and, and I think the only thing just about that I haven't really tried is, uh, Snuff, and that's just because that shit's like ground coffee, you know. Not to diss anybody out there that does dip snuff, but, you know, and I like it. I like Coke Whiskey Blend because it, it does have a good whiskey taste to it, and it does still have that Copenhagen taste. And, you know, I, I, I've been jumping around here these past few weeks. I had a can of Skull Cherry. I had me a can of Coke Wintergreen, Coke Straight, Whiskey Blend. I mean, I, I've jumped around quite a bit, but I must say that Coke Whiskey Blend is my personal favorite and when there was Coke Bourbon Black uh, I used to love that right there um, but yeah I'd, I'd been dipping for a while and I recently realized that uh, I was kinda clueless out of my mind I, I had no idea about a mud jug until not too long ago and, and I, I went ahead and, and I had a friend of mine he, he went ahead and we made one together and, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a great idea. I like mine because when I pour it out, I got this little spout right here. I don't got to worry about taking out any of the inside and taking off the top or any of that. That and this little handle right here. Yeah. That comes in pretty useful. Useful. <laughs> But yeah, this was uh, this was my first dipping video. So uh, so let me know what you think, and I'll have more up soon. Let me know if y'all want to see a video about anything else. If y'all shit want to know anything about dipping, just you know, I know there's a lot of other videos out there, but I'll make some too. Well, uh, yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, y'all have a good one. We'll see you later.